Hey guys, it's Thursday the 21st of September and today has been a pretty mediocre day. I was supposed to work but ended up having the day off so wasn't terrible. I slept in, hung out at home, watched some Netflix and had a shower because we have meet the teacher night tonight so I have to get ready for that. So pretty good day. Can't say it was stressful or anything like that was pretty cool to be home today instead of having to work especially because we have some pretty crazy heat for weather today uh, the last few days have been extremely hot my face is all red from straightening my hair uh, basically this week has been not too shabby I am still recovering from the weekend from being at block party for two days and then doing the double birthday party on Sunday so block party was really amazing both days. The only problem is, is having ankylosing spondylitis. Um, my body's in more pain than ever before. Not to mention you're dancing, you're standing, you're walking around uh, from 5 until, actually we didn't get there until around 6.30 on Friday till around 11. And then um, Saturday was only, I'm trying to think how long. We were there Saturday a little longer. Sorry, I'm trying to focus my camera. Saturday was longer. It was around 3 till 11. And then both nights we went to either a bar, went dancing. Uh, Saturday we went to a bar as well and did some dancing. It was a lot of fun. Like I had a really, really good time. Great DJs. I love going every year. I got to hang out with some friends, be kidless for two nights. And then Sunday morning woke up at a pretty good time and went to my parents and got Bray and then we went to uh, the double birthday parties. So I hope the, Brayson's watching Captain Underpants, so hopefully it's not too loud, but uh, I apologize if it's too loud. All right, so um, basically since the weekend, my body has been really sore and stiff. I think being on Cosentex, however, has helped with going to functions like that make it a little less painful the next day for recovery. I remember years ago before Cosentex, if I went to like a block party or an event like a concert, I would be incredibly, incredibly sore. Now I am, don't get me wrong, I'm still really, really sore recovering from the weekend. Uh, I do have a lot of back pain. I feel really stiff still in my upper back and I need to get my son to walk on my back. That's usually how I help get through some of those things. Now I did just take my Cosentex injection after the weekend, so I know that um, sometimes I feel a little bit more pained after taking the injection, so I don't know, we'll, we'll see I guess, but uh, so far so good, great weekend, great start to the week, I had Monday off and then Tuesday I had off, Wednesday I worked and then today off, so now I work at the school on Friday, I don't work very often, like I said, I try not to. And I try to make it as easy for me as possible. Sorry, the lighting keeps changing on my camera and I don't know why. I just placed a Zeep order, uh, sorry, Zape order yesterday. I always call them Zeep because that's how they're spelled. But it's pronounced Zape Bath from Las Vegas. They had a flash sale yesterday. I happened to come on the internet at just the right time. It was around 20 to 5 and they had posted the flash sale was happening and I was like oh my gosh get in on this so I got into it grabbed items got out of the cart bought everything and now I'm really excited so very excited to try some of those products they probably won't be here for another three weeks so got lots of time to stress about it we are getting ready like I said for meet the teacher night I still think that it's really early to have a meet the teacher night especially because they've only been in school 18, eight, 17 days, 17, 18, 19, 20, yeah, 17 days I think they've been in school. Um, that's not even fully that long because that's not even factoring in the weekends. So I think like two weeks they've been in school. So it's not really much to go on. I talk to his teacher every day when I go to pick him up. And if I bring him into the school or I'm working at the school, I happen to be there already. I've been talking to him as well. So I've been pretty caught up on how well he's doing so far for adjusting for grade two. So not terrible. Uh, not a lot to really know right now because it's still too soon. But uh, 
yeah, so, um, basically, I've just been trying to relax. I still have bruising on my injection sites from my injection. I'm really hoping that my next injections don't spray out. So I think what I'm going to try to do is hold them on a few seconds longer to ensure that extra fizz isn't flying out of the injections. So I really hate when that happens because I feel like I'm on recovery mode trying to go all over the house in the bathroom looking to find where all the stuff sprayed. So it's kind of annoying. I had to do that after the last two injections on my hands and knees looking for wiping the walls, wiping like everything down to try to make sure I didn't leave anything because I wouldn't want my son to touch any of it or my cat to touch it. So I just didn't know where it really went because it kind of sprayed all over the place. So uh, other than that, uh, I watched, I'm in the midst of watching this show on Netflix called The Good Place. I'm almost finished it actually. It's really, really good. It's coming to t regular TV as well. It was just on last night. I had my Big Brother finale last night. I finished 19 to now. It was over on Monday. I'm excited for next week because a lot of shows come back. So basically as a single mom who when my son goes to bed, the only thing I really do is make videos, edit videos, watch Netflix, watch TV. So aside from cleaning the house and whatnot, but I don't always want to clean the house. So I'd rather watch TV shows. Uh, what else is happening? This weekend is the air show in our area. We, I don't know if we're going to go or if we're just going to watch it from afar maybe, like drive close by and see if we can see some of the stuff. They kind of can be expensive and I'm trying to stay within a certain means of extra spending and budgeting. So I'm still spending on myself but trying not to. I'm just trying to save up for my tattoo because I have two three hour sits coming up. One on November 10th and one on December 1st. So I need to have um, some money for that. So I'm trying not to, anytime I dip into my savings for that, I'm trying to put it back in, which is really hard because something will come up. So it's never, money is never easy these days. So it's always needing something. We're always needing groceries, gas, or needing something for school or whatever. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else going on that I'm forgetting to talk about. I try to make a vlog and kind of discuss everything. I don't know if you recall that I had mentioned a little bit ago that I man plan on making a few more um, ankylosing spondylitis videos. So I want to talk about a few things in relation. So I know that I've talked about it in the beginning of my channel, but I kind of want to go over and refresh for some people um, kind of what's gone on with me, how I started, how things have been since Cassentex. That briefly talking again about some of the drugs I was on before Cassentex. Just kind of going back and doing a recap of like back in the day, what's gone on, and uh, maybe a comparison from then to now. I'm also getting older. I am 34 now, so when I started this channel, I was 33, or 32 is that turning 33, I can't recall. But I want to kind of go in and do like comparisons of things from then till now and and I also want to talk about more of my pain and some of the things I've encountered or some of the things that I've cleared up or what have you. So I have quite a bunch of ideas. I've been brainstorming ideas of videos that I want to make. I have so much footage from things that are also non-ankylosing spondylitis from shopping halls to lush halls to just summer stuff that we've done. So I'm trying to keep a balance of things. I have more ideas flowing than I can actually get on recording because my phone fills up so quickly. I find I'm making so much footage and whether I decide to use it or not, then I end up going through and removing it. So I have like all these great ideas. So I'm just trying to put them into video and edit them and upload them. So I appreciate all the comments that I've been getting lately from my fans of followers who actually do watch my videos and enjoy the videos that I make. I really, really appreciate all you guys. It makes me feel good to know that you're actually watching them and they're not boring. I never know when I'm making them because for me, myself, I'm just staring at myself in a camera and editing these videos of myself and I get annoyed of my own self. So I'm trying to work on the ums, I'm trying to work on different, you know, slowing myself down a little bit better for these videos. I'm a very fast, fast paced person. So it's hard for me to come down to like a slower level. So I'm trying to do it, but I find if I do it, I'm speaking a little bit clearly. 
I'm not rambling and I'm not saying ums too much. So I kind of am impressed with myself on doing that because, I mean, you learn as you go, right? Nobody's, I'm not a YouTube professional. I've only had this channel for about a year. I enjoy doing it. And like I said, I'm not doing it to get a billion subscribers. I'm doing it for my own sanity. I'm doing it for my own video diary and journal and it keeps me it keeps me grounded. It gives me something to do and gives you guys something to watch. And yeah, so there's lots of options of things I could do. If you have questions for me about my disease or my family life or um, things that I do or how I get through, like I might even do like a routine video of like a typical day when I'm not working, a typical day if I am working. I find that I, I'm very... I do a lot of things I shouldn't do. For example, I sleep a lot more when I shouldn't. Like, who wouldn't want to enjoy a day off? I spend a lot of my days off sleeping. So there's a lot of things I want to cover and discuss and, you know, make make more ankylosing videos for you guys to see and not necessarily always get off topic and do other videos, but I think I'm going to head back onto the ankylosing channel, like, type of videos and focus on that for a little bit. So projects to come. Don't forget to click the little bell down below so you can see if I upload upcoming videos and then you'll see them when they post. I have been posting a lot of videos lately trying to get them off my phone. Random orders, I know the dates don't really matter, it's just a matter of the video itself. So I hope you guys are enjoying those. Hope you guys are enjoying the first few weeks into school if you're in school. Hope you're enjoying um, the warmer weather. I see that BC actually got snow, so keep it there. I don't want to see snow yet. I don't need my joints really, really stiff from the winter. As much as I hate being hot and sweating because I do have inflammation that's active, I would much rather be in the warm weather than the freaking cold because I stiffen right up. It hurts more, so I, would, I do not sweat as bad in the winter, however, but... I don't like the joint pain, so I do hurt more on my knees and my ankles, so weather permitting, geez, I just, I don't know, I'm kind of dreading the winter. We didn't really have a very long summer, it was very, very short-lived, so who knows what our Canadian weather has in store for us this year. Last year was a weird, mild weather for winter. We didn't really have a lot of snow, but uh, we did have some cold days, that's for sure, but uh Anyways, so I'm going to go get ready. We got to leave to go to the school to do the parent-teacher meeting night. Meet the teacher night, I guess it's called. They have pizza, and we get to see the classrooms and check out the work they've done so far. Grayson's really excited to show me his math. I can kind of rest assured that he's doing great. And, yeah, I'm working at the school tomorrow, so I'm on yard duty. So, get to do that. And I don't know what our weekend has in store for us. So I don't know if I'll make any videos. I really don't know. But I will be uploading some from our summer um, activities and the fun that we've had. So look forward to seeing those. And thank you again for watching my video and tuning into my channel. Don't forget to give my videos thumbs ups and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And you can also check the links out down below for my Facebook groups. And until the next video, guys, thanks for watching, and I appreciate all your love and support. Have a great night, guys.